Hello, it's Celios from Batman TV with my very first Lego Mighty Micro review. It is set number 76092. It is Batman vs Harley Quinn. It's recommended for ages 5 to 12. And getting into the review, um, you can see that it does have the Lego DC Comics Superheroes logo at the top. So sad they changed it. Originally it was DC Comics Superheroes, but that's just DC. I mean, I like it better, but it's just so sad to see the original logo go, since I like that better, but I like this thing better. But anyway, we do have uh, a picture of Harley Quinn chasing Batman. On the back, it does have some advertisements for the other two Mighty Micro sets, like Win vs. the Joker, which I have. I'm going to review that tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. We also have Supergirl vs. Brainiac, which I do not have because I'm more of a Batman guy instead of superheroes. Moving into the review, we're going to start with Batman's um, little thingy. Oh wait, <sighs> sorry, I forgot the instructions. <laughs> and these are Batman's instructions. They don't have too much artwork. And keep in mind, if you ever get a Mighty Micro set, they'll really come package like this it does have a little building for the minifigure and sorry about my burp excuse me <laughs> but anyway we on to harley quinn's page she's uh the same as batman i mean these instructions they don't have too much artwork i mean i understand but it's just not interesting however the last thing that is a lot more interesting we have advertisements for the other DC Comics superhero sets and the ones that I really want are probably Superman and Crypto team up because I love that recolor of Aquaman's hairpiece from Justice League in that color and the um, Flash set with Reverse Flash and Flash and that wicked cyborg and also this set with Batman so it really doesn't have a cape though However, getting into the review, we're going to start with Batman's um, Batmobile. Now, keep in mind, I am missing some pieces, and I'll tell you what those are. But anyway, moving on to the review, we're going to... Let me pull the camera down. As you can see, the front does have a missing piece, but what would actually be put there would be this piece, but only sideways. So it would go, like, on the other side and not... Uh, the other side and we're going oh wait let me take the minifigures out that was stupid of me okay so i just did that and you see he does have the batman logo which i really like inside we have a little space with two studs now keep in mind since it's mighty micros they have to use a short legs and not like adult legs so if you don't want them with adult legs, make sure to get them from the um, Gotham City Cycle Chase set as they both have adult legs, or at least Harley Quinn does. But if you're looking for the Batman in the set with adult legs, you should get one of the Lego Batman movie sets. And, and uh, yeah, not too much to say about the Batmobile. I mean, these Mighty Micros are really small. Oh, wait, wait a minute. What? Oh, sorry about that, I thought I saw some light here. But anyway, moving on to Harley Quinn's really cool. She's only missing one piece, like Batman, and that would be the gear piece from the Lego Minifigures Series 6 Clockwork Robot on the back. So it would be basically be the crank that you use to turn the um, Clockwork Robot, but just on here. As you can see, we have some space for Harley Quinn to stand up and ride. But yeah, nothing too interesting about these micro micros. For getting into the review, we have Batman. And now, he does have a miniature Batman cape, which <laughs> so glad they made this. I was getting sick of the thicker Batman cape or longer. I'm, I'm just going to stop talking. It does have some little um, streeping or striping. Sorry about this grammar, I can't do anything about it. But anyway, and he does have the utility belt. Oh, just dropped him. And we have his little belt buckle. And underneath it, it's interesting because of, as of having eyes, like, the cause instead of having eyes, sorry. Man, this grammar in my video is awful. He does have a little smile. 
and he wears goggles rather than a white headband for the eyes. And Batman's accessories would be the grappling hook um, piece, not the um, megaphone, but the thing that goes inside it, as his accessory like a grappling hook. And moving on to Harley Quinn, she's probably my favourite out of this set. Now, she is not exclusive, or at least the hairpiece isn't, as this hairpiece also comes in Gotham City Cycle Chase. Now, I don't know if this is real, but... Well, you know what I mean. It is real, but I'm talking about accuracy for films. But now this is based off the Margaret Robbie. Oh, uh, is it? Was it Margaret Robbie? I can't remember. Portrayal of Harley Quinn from the Suicide Squad film. Um, I haven't seen it because I'm a kid. However, I will see it when I get older. She does use this bigger hammer piece. Or oh, not piece, it's brick built, really. <laughs> And this face actually doesn't look anything like Mighty Micros, which I'm not really happy, but it's good. And she does have a belt like Batman. So moving on to the final unit, do I think that this is a good Mighty Micro set? Well, e yes, really. I mean, most of the Mighty Micro sets are kind of boring. Well, not boring, but they don't have a lot of detail because they're meant for short, leggy minifigures. So overall, I rate this set a 9 out of 10. I think they could have done better with the um, vehicles. However, that's not a big deal. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye bye and have a nice day.